It's Corpus on here from more MOBA. We're just looking at Ghoul Dan on the PTR. I've been having a lot of fun with him. Uh, I think he's going to be a very competitive mage, rivaling Kale Thoth's. Um, he has his weak points, but, you know, he seems very interesting. It's not a character that I think uh, heroes did actually need. Um, I'm in try mode. Uh, nothing too serious. I just wanted to play around. Um, you know, I can toggle around cooldowns and things like that to really showcase the character. So you don't know much about him. His trait is Life Tap. Uh, Gul'dan does not regenerate any mana. Instead, he will take from his life and provide himself mana. Uh, you can activate it to, you know, bite a little chunk of your mana or sort of a quarter of it back. His abilities, his Q is a Fell Flame. It's a mid-range kind of uh, nuke here. It does moderate damage. Nothing too extreme, but it's only on... I have toggle cooldowns on, but uh, it is on a one and a half second cooldown. So pretty short. You can see already I'm not regenerating any mana. Um, I do need a life tap. That's not life tap. I have the life tap uh, to get mana back so you can use more felled flames. I'm going to toggle cooldowns again. His uh, second ability is W is Drain Life. I will talk on minions, and you can see that in a second. But he's going to kind of siphon the life off of an enemy hero or a minion or a mercenary and um, restore to himself health. Unlike Leoric's Drain Hope, it is not a percentage max health or percentage health based ability. So it doesn't matter who you target or what you target, you will always get the same amount of health back, which is going to be really, really key with Life Tap. His last ability, you saw a little preview earlier with my misclick, is Corruption. Um, it is three short bursts in a row. You can kind of position it wherever you'd like within this little circle. But once you let go, it strikes one, two, three times. You're able to hit a enemy more than once if they decided to kind of move in this position. Or you can kind of clip them in the middle of two circles and they'll get hit by tw uh, with it twice. It's a, I would say it's a heavier damage uh, over time ability. It's nothing crazy. It's not like as strong as, let's say, Lunara's poisons or anything like that. Uh, but it definitely can build up over time. And I actually picked one of the level one quests. Kind of cheated here to prep for everything. But um, you'll see what it does once I, when, I, when you pick up this quest. Um, so that's basically his three basic abilities. I'm going to toggle on minions. So Arth is going to show up right now. Um, his talents at level one, you could either pick a talent where the fell frame flames, the Q's radius is increased, glyph of drain life to increase the cast rate of drain life. The one I picked is echoed corruption. On the third strike of corruption, it's gonna bounce backwards again, kind of like Chogal. Um, the last one is chaotic energy. I don't think it's good at all. When you get enough health regen globes, um, he's gonna get a mana cost reduction on spells. So here we go, I'm playing on cheesy um, cooldown mode. So right now I completed the quest. Let's look at the difference here. So I'm gonna send this out on the third strike and rebounds back. It just hit, it just hit hard this about six times right there. He's gonna lose a lot of health from that. It's gonna synergize with some of his other talents as well later on. So I'm gonna switch back off on cooldown so you can see. It's on a 15 second cooldown, so it's quite lengthy. But right there, you almost always get that free second hit on someone. Let's just say Gul'dan's wave clear is also very good, and rival specialist. Here. The only uh, downside, of course, is that I will have to constantly life tap for mana. But I have this drain life soul. Uh, drain health spell. I have no idea what it said. Drain life spell, so I can get some health back. Makes life tap a little less rebuild their forts really quickly. Okay, so forts are refreshed. I'm gonna get minions again. I still have my quest completed, so we can still play around with that a little bit. Let's see this again. So in about two queues at level 20, there you go. Wave is gone. Arthas is gonna have to move back, so we're gonna position this. Oh, missed it there. With the life tap. And I can just drain life again. Gul'dan is completely stunnable and attackable while he's um, using Drain Life. I absolutely recommend you do that if you're facing one. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Chen. Chen has extremely high sustain, but while he's you know chugging his brew, he is, can be interrupted. When he's interrupted, he gets very vulnerable. Here we go. 
minions level four talents there's some interesting ones I think the standard one it's gonna be to get more um, mana back from life tap it means you have to life tap less times and allows you to do more fell flames allows you to do more damage it's pretty simple uh, health funnel every time you kill someone they go drain life its cooldown is basically half it's on a 10 second cooldown you get 60% of the cooldown uh, back so uh, it's back to you know four seconds could be useful, more sustain, uh, especially, you know, you could just keep drain, um, lifing minions, kind of reminds me of, uh, Kerrigan's talent, where every time she ravages a minion, she heals health, and every time she kills an enemy, it, uh, refreshes its cooldown, so she can really sustain herself in lane really quickly. Um, and then Consume Soul is a very interesting one, where you can kill an enemy minion and immediately heal yourself. This has a lot of potential to be very really good. Um, I need to do a little bit more experimentation with it, with like things like Zagara and things like that, which uh, summons from heroes are considered minions and which ones don't. I know with the evil zombie walls it does work. Uh, but yeah, you can totally eat a minion, heal some health. Um, it's really good. It's really good. Uh, I know it works with promote as well. So if someone ends up picking promote, I mean, there's only two characters with promote nowadays anyways, but say they promoted a minion, you could totally eat their promoted minion and boom, it's gone. So I'm just going to pick improve life tap. So I just have to do it less. Um, level seven, any, uh, some cool ones, curse of exhaustion. Corruption now slows movement by 50%. 50% is a huge amount and you can see the giant range in corruption. Like that's a huge amount of, you know, area that you're hitting with this 50% slow, and especially if it rebounds back, they're slowed for a long time. Um, it's very, very powerful. Hunger for Power is another one that a lot of people have been experimenting with and picking up. 15% uh, ability power for the trade-off being 25% less healing from allies. A lot, a Gul'dan can sustain himself fairly well uh, with Drain Life. It could be useful. 50% uh, is nothing to scoff at. It's actually a, re a lot. And you know, I think a lot of other mages would really want a talent like that. Uh, Drain Life does 50% more damage. So you, enemies below 50% health is interesting. And the other one, Bound by Shadow, Fell Flame hits, reduces co the cooldown of Corruption. So you can hit a lot of enemy heroes in that kind of cone with Fell Flame, and each one would reduce Corruption's uh, cooldown by a second. It could be very powerful. I think uh, the utility from Curse of Exhaustion is too powerful in a team fight not to almost pick it. Um, Horrify is an amazing ultimate. We can see both of his ultimates. I'm going to reset cooldown to show you the other one. But I think Horrify is amazing. So here we go. So, here's Corruption again. We're rebounding back and hitting Arthas. Horrify drops a circle, and it t fears enemies on the opposite direction that it hits for two seconds. So if I hit him this way, so if I hit him that way, he's going to be feared to the right. So if I hit him this way, he's going to be feared up there. But that's what Horrify does, and it hits in an AoE, and you expect an entire enemy to be It's disgusting. It's amazing as a utility of Mighty Gust. I can't say much about it. And also it does damage. It does damage. I don't know why it needs to do damage, but it does damage. Okay. So we're actually gonna go through with the rest of the talents. I'm gonna go back and show Brain of Destruction, just because I don't wanna rebuild corruption stacks for this quest. Um, at level 13. Time has come. Actually, I'm gonna skip to level 16, but uh, level 13 talents. Bye minions. Um, Fell Armor, Gul'dan has it a way of getting Spell Shield, which is really, really useful. Um, it has permanent uptime in Spell Shield, too. Hitting an enemy with Fell Flame grants Spell Shield, reducing ability damage taken by 30% for 2.5 seconds. Remember that Fell Flame has a 1.5 second cooldown. It is always up if need be. So it's very powerful against other mages. Um, Harvest Life Drain Life heals for 50% more health when used on heroes. Doesn't do more damage, but heals you for more. It allows him to kind of trade a little bit better, especially with corruption doing damage over time, and you hit with the drain life so that you can heal up while it's doing damage over time. I 
love Dark Bargain. Increase your maximum health by 25%, but increases your respawn timer by 15 seconds. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. It pushes you up 900 health at this point at level 20. It bumps you from, say, I believe he's on the same tier as Greymane and Kerrigan and some of these other melee um, assassins already as a range assassin. He has a lot more health than your typical Li Ming, Kael'thas, Tracer, uh, Lunara. He has a lot more health than those guys. This pushes him up to mid-tier support levels. Yeah, Uther, Rhaegar, this is a lot of health. Um, you shouldn't <laughs> die often. It's hard to say like when you get ganked and things like that, but um, 50, I would trade 15 seconds for 25% maximum health. I think it's a, it's a very good bargain. Um, the last option at level... Oh, I don't... Why did I do that? I reset the talent. Oopsies. Um, but... We're gonna, just gonna go through and do this again. I'm gonna switch around to destruction. Dark bargain. Level 16, Ruinous Affliction is the one I was going to talk about. Ruinous Affliction, every corruption little circle here will do more damage. Uh, if an enemy is hit by three, it will get a huge spike of damage. I believe equivalent to one, like a fourth corruption hit. Um, it's going to be really good if you pick that level one talent where it bounces back and forth. They're almost like you're almost guaranteed to hit someone with three. Um, Big spike damage, very powerful. Other option, Rampant Hellfire. Fell Flame's damage is decreased by 6% for 5 seconds, second up to 5 times, so 30% extra damage on Fell Flame. Um, with Fell Flame, though, if you're going to spam Fell Flame, you're going to want to pick up a lot of the life tap talents because you're going to use a lot of mana doing, some, doing that. Darkness Within is a good easy one. Um, after using life tap, the next ability you cast has 20% increased ability power. It's kind of the best of both worlds. If you're going to both use Fell Flame and both use um, Corruption, it's a nice talent to buff all your abilities. Um, if you pick something like Reign of Destruction, which I'm going to show off right now, it could be very powerful. I personally don't love Reign of Destruction. Um, you're going to see it right now just because it's a channeled ability. I, initially, I thought it was more like Phoenix. You know, you drop it, you set it, forget it, cast other spells, but you don't. It's a big area. Um, reminds me of Gangplank Soul in League of Legends, except, you know, it's not a global range. Okay. Just use it, kind of set it and forget it, and it's gonna hit randomly and do damage. It hit Arthas n zero times. Look at that. Zero times. This is why you don't pick this ability. Um, let's try it again. Do it one more time. Let's see if we can hit Arthas once with this complete RNG ability. Arthas once. Twice. Three times. Three times. Oh, four times. Four times. Um, did nothing, basically. It might zone out a fight. It might help. I mean, if you can hit from a decent ways away, but you're stunned the entire duration. I feel like Nazebo's Ravenous Spirit does this, but better. Um, I find no reason to pick Reign of Destruction. Uh, it's it's too random, and it doesn't do as much. Uh, as much as it should. Um, level 20, I want to show off this talent. It's probably one of my favorites. Everyone knows how much I love Chromie and how much I love her bye bye talent. Um, but this talent, Demonic Circle, allows you to put a Demonic Circle just like in World of Warcraft. You can move around. Maybe I'll just like over here. So I'm just gonna do stupid stuff. Go over here, get hit by a tower like 20 times. And then when I feel like I'm close to death, I'm gonna just press the number two ability. Oh. And boom, I'm back. It's an instant speed teleport back to a location. Say I'm trying to flank, and or maybe I am on the offensive. Maybe we're able to push this back just because I have more people down. So it doesn't matter. Drain life, drain life. Say I was able to push him back to base and he had to back to base. I'm at low health. I'm at low health and mana. You know, I need to go back. Come on, Arthas, die! Okay, perfect. So what I can do is back to base, heal up, and then I'm going to use Demonic Mortal to teleport back to my location. So it's going to go over here, press 2, I'm back. So it allows you to both teleport back safely at instant speed, 
and teleport forward if you're winning and you need to really split push. It gives Gul'dan a lot of potential, and I think this ult is so interesting and so awesome. Uh, so, sorry, it's not an ult, it's level 20 ability. Um, it's like a fixed Bolt of the Storm, too. Um, it's infinite range, it doesn't really matter if I'm in a really tricky situation, I like this one back. Um, you can get Sundered, you can get on the Hunted by Illidan. There, there's so many abilities that normally would just kill you, where you can immediately just, bye-bye, I'm gone. Um, very similar to Chromie, in that sense. It's on a minute cooldown, and I think you'd be silly not to pick it. Um, other level 20 talents, uh, just finishing up here. Haunt applies vulnerability in addition to the fear. Not only are you just doing crazy things and pushing people all over the place, they're taking 25% extra damage from your team. Very powerful, could be very powerful. I think you need to escape from Demonic Circle still. And the last one, Deep Impact. Reign of Disruption now slows enemy movement by 90%. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, does it really matter if you... Choose a talent. Um, does it really matter if you reduce enemy movement by 90% if you don't hit them in the first place? The shattering is upon you. Like, great. I, I don't know. Go back to <laughs> rewind back to the first reign of destruction I did, where I didn't hit Arthas once. Um, uh, but that's cool, Dan. I hope I'm gonna. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm definitely gonna do a little bit more with him when he comes live next Tuesday. Um, but this, this has been a lot of fun. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you guys. Hope to see you again soon.